Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jessica Gonzalez. A hearing to go over potential violations keeping an adult entertainment venue closed is being rescheduled for a little over a month from now after arguments were made by attorneys for Chicas Locas and the El Paso County today. KFOX 14 News at 9's Eileen Herrera was in the courtroom. She joins us now with why the county claims the business owner is violating an agreement made back when the establishment operated as Jaguars Gold Club. Eileen. Well, Jessica, it was an after an hour of back and forth between the county and the attorneys representing Chicas Locas that the judge ultimately decided to reschedule the hearing for November 25th. This is to give the attorneys representing Chicas Locas enough time to review the evidence that the county pr plans to present during that hearing. The attorneys claiming that they have yet to see all the evidence the county claims to have. We're entitled to some evidence of what we allegedly did wrong. We don't believe we've done anything wrong. Just a few minutes before today's court hearing, the county shared a list of evidence showing alleged violations made by Chicas Locas. The attorneys representing Chicas Locas claim to not have seen some of the evidence presented before today's hearing and did not have time to prepare documents against the alleged agreement violations. The county is asking the court to order Chicas Locas to close down for one year as well as for the owners to pay a bond as a penalty of violation. We've complied with the court order and we should be back in business. Currently, Chicas Locas is closed after the city of El Paso found a fire code violation. During today's hearing, the judge considered putting her own 30-day temporary restriction order. However, after a long back and forth between the county and the attorneys, the judge decided not to issue a TRO, meaning if the city removes its restraining order before November 25th, Chicas Locas will be able to open its doors back up. We believe that the city has said we've met the requirements of the fire code and that the cease and desist order should be released. During their time in the courtroom today, the attorneys for Chicas Locas told the judge they did not have a sexually oriented business license since entertainers at the establishment wear latex coverings at all times. Attorney Casey Wallace claims Chicas Locas is not a nude or semi-nude business. Claims the judge asked for proof of. You can't see through it. Latex. Then they're neither nude nor semi-nude. And that's what happens at every club in San Antonio, for example. Again, the hearing will now be on November 25th. Now, during today's courtroom, there was mention of possibly combining the case the county and the, and the city have against Chica Locas, but there is no word yet if that will actually happen, but we will keep you updated as the cases develop. I'm reporting live in downtown El Paso tonight. Eileen Herrera, KFOX 14, News on 9.